Lena, you've written about FIFA in the past. I need to give a sense of the scale of this to an American audience. Is it fair to say that if you care about this game, today is Christmas? Well, uh, for soccer, this is a huge um, event because on Friday, FIFA was supposed to elect, uh, well, probably re-elect its president, Zeb Blatter, who was uh, running world soccer um, for quite a long time uh, and who uh, presided over those votes to grant uh, the World Cups to Russia and Qatar. But now he's probably not going to get re-elected after the arrests. Uh, so this is a huge disruptive event for global soccer. Yeah, and of course the, uh, the spokesman for FIFA this morning confirming in a press conference that, uh, that those votes will in fact take place on Friday. Let me ask, you wrote last year, uh, and I'm quoting from the title of your article, Soccer Needs to Kick Out Its Dictator. Uh, explain why Sepp Blatter, in your words, is a dictator. Well, Zeb Blatter has been at, uh, with FIFA since 1975. He really knows the ropes in that organization. He has really mastered the, the, the political art of running it and of uh, uh, combining, satisfying all the different interests uh, that, you know, converge to, to, to make FIFA uh, and to run world soccer. Yeah. Uh, he really is the sort of the accomplished functionary. Um, uh, there's nobody else in, inside FIFA who could stand up to him. Um, so, and, um, help me yeah, understand he's, he's been around too long. He's been around too long. He's been president since uh, 1998. Um, and there, you know, there are allegations of vote rigging that go back even to that election. Um, help me understand the international aspect of what's going on, which is that uh, you know, the, the 2018 and 2022 um, World Cups were awarded together. 2018 went to Russia. Vladimir Putin had a very personal hand uh, in, in lobbying uh, for that uh, World Cup. What does this mean to him? What does that World Cup mean to Vladimir Putin? Well, it means less to him than it did in um, 2010 when uh, Russia actually won that bid uh, because back then he cared much more what the world thinks about him. Uh, so winning the, the bid for the World Cup was probably as important to him as winning the bid for the Sochi Olympics that took place last year, the Winter Olympics. Uh, and it was a, a major chance for him to um, show off his achievements, um, which have sort of paled since, uh, with the oil price going down and the invasion of Ukraine. Um, but it's still, it's still very important for Russia to keep the 2018 World Cup, and it probably will, because the, you know, the bigger problem okay. uh, is with the, with the Qatar uh, World Cup, uh, the 2022 World Cup.